Okay, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cut up a video in a Google slide. So here's what we've got. We've got our Google slide here and we're going to insert a YouTube video. So I found the video I want, it's right here. I'm gonna copy and paste the address right there. Then I'm gonna go right here to insert video. I'm gonna pop that video in there, insert it. Okay, so you, that's not such a big deal, but what's really cool is if this format options doesn't pop open, which sometimes it doesn't, but I use it often. If you click on here, come on. You say you saw live. Okay, I thought it was going to open up. But here's the format options. If we open this up, we can tell them what parts we want to play. So we can take a great big video and then reduce it down into bite-sized pieces, take out the parts that are going to be confusing for our students. So here's how you do that. You click on here and you decide what part you want it to watch and you tell it where you want it to start and where you want it to stop so yeah turn it on Okay, so I want to do that much. I want to take just that much of the video. So I've got it paused. And if I click right here, use current time, it will start it at the very beginning and it won't go past 41 seconds. And that's all students will see. Um, there's also the option to um, play on click, which is what I prefer, or you can automatically, as soon as you go to the next slide, have it play. I like to play on click because I'm a control freak. Okay, um, also you could mute the audio. Um, I do that when I have like students are doing a task and I have the timer on. If there's a timer I like that has music, if you click mute audio, they just won't hear it, but they can see it. Uh, so you can play with that. But of course we want the audio here. Okay, we're good to go. So when we push play on here, they'll only see that. So let's pop in some questions. So we might, and remember, like our whole goal is to make this more comp comprehensible to students. So we want to give them as many clues as we can. So maybe we could say, Los chicos de Morat um, hacen un video de Instagram Live. ¿Cuántas personas miran su video en este momento? Okay, maybe one question. They might, um, Maybe two or three questions pop in there. Um, of course, we want our kiddos to be able to read this. Okay, but there we go. Um, so then when we show this to students, when we click the slideshow, when they see it, they'll first see the questions so they can read it. Then when the teachers plays this, it'll only play that segment of it. Then if you wanted to move on to the next, let me show you an easy way to do this. If you do control D, so see how I'm I've highlighted the, the slide right here. Control D will just duplicate that. Now, for this one, instead of having to watch it over again, I know. You say you saw live. Thanks. Um, I know we don't need it starting at zero. So let's start it at 41. Where's my cursor? I'm in Spanish, so it's not doing it. There we go. Um, and let's put this at nothing so that when I play it here, it'll start at 41. So I don't have to watch what I've already watched. Okay. So like all of this part would make a good video. Like this is kind of random stuff. So I figure out where it's going to get good. Then I back up to right before that. And then when you click use current time, it'll just automatically catch it there. You watch it till you want to cut it click use current time, you're good to go. Then you could duplicate that slide again. So what you're doing is you're putting that same video in 
a whole bunch of times, but just the little snippet you want kiddos to focus on. So how easy is that? Okay, hope that was helpful. Have a good one.